Hi guys, it's me Yang and welcome back to my vlog. So for today's video guys, it will be a lecture video and I know it's been a while since I uploaded a lecture video. So yes guys, for today, I'm going to discuss the West Guard Control Chart. So shout out to Mitch Fabian who suggested this topic. Thank you girl, okay? Um, I'm going to discuss it to you guys in its simplest way on how I understand it. So hopefully guys, okay, maiintindihan nyo kung paano ko siya ituturo sa inyo. So simple lang naman guys, ang West Guard Control Chart. So anyway, if you're just new to my channel, please click the subscription button and notification bell so you will be updated for my next video. So hopefully guys, um, next week I will be uploading a lecture video also. So keep on suggesting guys a topic na gusto nyong um, maintindihan and hopefully I will try my best to do a video for that. So, so yes guys, without further ado, let's get started. So West Guard Control Chart guys is one of the quality control chart. So on my previous video which is my experience as a chief medic, okay, I mentioned there that in maintaining the laboratory, it is very important to consider the quality control. So running a quality control on the machines is very important because that is how we are going to know if we are giving an accurate and precise results to the patient for the proper diagnosis of the physicians. So according to Rodriguez guys, a quality control chart is used to observe values of control materials over time in order to determine the reliability of the analytical method. And West Guard control chart is just one of the QC charts. We also have other QC charts. We have the Gaussian curve, which is the bell shaped curve. And then we have the cumulative curve that is the QSIM, and then we have the Yoden or Twin Plat, and then we have the Shewart's Levy Jennings chart. And this chart, guys, the Shewart Levy Jennings chart is the most widely used QC in the laboratory. But for today's video, guys, I'm going to discuss the West Guard Control chart because in this chart, guys, mayroon tayong mga rules, okay? And we call that the West Guard Control Rules. And maraming nalilito kung ano bang ibig sabihin ng mga rules na yun. So, we have the 1-2-S, 1-3-S, 2-2-S, R-4-S, okay? And then, we have the 10-X. So, that is the purpose of this video, guys. I'm going to discuss what is the meaning of each rule. So, in order for you to easily understand the West Guard Control Rules, we need a graph for that. So, I'm going to insert a graph here, guys. Okay, later on, okay, when I discuss the each rule of the West Guard Control Rules. And by the way, guys, in a West Guard Control Chart, it is recommended that at least 40 samples and preferably 100 samples be run by comparison of methods experiment. So, let's go now to the West Guard Control Rules. What are the West Guard Control Rules? We have the 1-2-S, 1-3-S, 2-2-S, 4-1-S, R-4-S, and the 10-X. So, tip ko sa inyo guys, okay, pag nakita nyo ang West Guard Control Rules, so for example, is the 1-2-S. The first digit guys, okay, it stands for the quantity of the control. Okay, so pag makakita naman kayo guys ng lower digit, okay, which is followed by the first digit, that stands for the location of the control, kung saan siya mag -e exit So for the first rule, it is the 1-2-S. So number 1 guys there, okay, it stands for the quantity of the control. So that means 1 control. And then next is the 2-S, which is the lowercase number. So 2-S there guys, it means for the location of the control. So 1-2-S, okay, that means that 1 control exceeds the mean. So positive, negative, 2-S-B. The mean is the measure of the central tendency. That is why nasa gitna siya. So we also have guys the SD and SD stands for standard deviation. Standard deviation is the measure of the dispersion of values from the mean. So we have guys the positive SD on the upper part and the negative SD on the lower part. So next rule na tayo guys which is the 13S. So in 13S guys it means that one control exceeds the mean positive negative 3SD. So, just the same guys with the 1 to S, it just differ for the location of control. So, in 1 3 S guys, that means that 1 control exceeds the 
mean positive negative 3SD. So next rule guys is the 2-2S. The first digit stands for the quantity of the control and the lower case stands for the location of the control. So in case of 2-2S, that means that that the last two control results exceeds either the mean positive or negative 2SD. So as you can see guys on the graph, okay, my red marker na siya, okay, it really shows that the last two control results exceed either the mean positive or negative 2SD. So next rule guys is the R4S. So what do you mean by that rule? It only means that the range, okay, or difference between the highest and lowest control results within an analytical brand exceeds the 4SD. Okay, but to make it simple guys, R4S, it means that one control exceeds the positive 2SD and the other side which is the negative 2SD. So as you can see guys on the chart, my mark sa positive 2SD and my mark din sa negative 2SD. So this one guys, it indicates for the R4S rule. So for 1S guys, that means the last 4 or any 4 consecutive control results exceed either the mean positive negative 1SD. So as you can see guys on the graph, it means the 4 1S rule. So the next rule guys and the last rule in the worst care control chart is the 10X. So 10X rule guys, that means that the 10 consecutive results are on the same size of the target mean. So as you can see guys on the chart, that one indicates for the 10x rule. So that's it guys for the West Card Control Rules. We have the 12s, 13s, 22s, R4s, 41s, and the 10x. So don't forget lang guys yung tip ko sa inyo na pag makakita kayo ng West Card Control Rules, Okay, the first digit of the rule, guys, it stands for the quantity of the control. Okay, while the lower digit, guys, it stands for the location of the control. Um, example lang sa R4S, guys, okay? Because R4S, that means that one control exceeds the positive 2SD and the other side negative 2SD. So, yes, guys, one 3S rules, okay, it is a call for Huani. And then... So, 1-3-S naman, it is for corrective action na. So, starting from 1-3-S, okay, hanggang sa 10-X, so ano nung mga rule na yun? We have the 1-3-S, 2-2-S, R-4-S, 4-1-S, and the 10-X. That is for rejection na. So, guys, continuous QC failure, it requires more troubleshooting. So, this one involves the preparation of new reagent. Dahil baka nagkakaroon ng QC failure because of the reagent, so you have to prepare new reagents. And then next, we also have the recalibration, okay? The recalibration of the machine. And then, next is the instrument maintenance and repair. And if hindi na kaya ng powers mo, okay, you have to contact now the manufacturer or dealer uh, for technical support or service of the machine. So yes, guys, um, that is the use of the West Card Control Rule and its importance. So hopefully, guys, okay, na intindihan nyo kung paano ko siya diniscuss sa inyo. So if you have any question, guys, feel free to comment down below. And also, guys, suggest a topic for my next vlog. So thank you so much for watching and good luck, guys. God bless. Bye!